nice to be with you. My name is Charles Mercer. I'm a photographic coach and a photographer. I discovered during my time of coaching in the last decade that there is a very firm link between photography and on the other hand life. Photography can do so much to increase our creativity, to increase our perception of life, to increase the quality of our lives and I wanted to start a channel where this becomes evident and where people are inspired to actually see photography as a tool to greater creativity and to greater self-satisfaction because creativity is essential for all human beings. Well, I believe that anyway. I want to look at stories as well. Behind every single photograph you see, there is a story. Sometimes a very entailed, complicated story, sometimes a simple story. I have a story too, which I want to tell you on this vlog. My mother died and during her lifetime she had been saving up for me to go and visit my sister in British Columbia in a little place called Seashelt. And she died and the funds were released and I bought an air ticket to go first of all to England to visit my beautiful daughter and then on to Seashelt. So excited to see my sister, hadn't seen her for a long time. And then I was offered a trip up a, a mountain called Dakota Ridge, which is renowned for very thick blankets of snow, very beautiful. I went up there with a tour guide. Uh, we were dropped off with our snowshoes and she led me into the pathway. I don't think she was that familiar with the path. And we got horribly lost. She suggested that we walk back the way we had come, but we had been walking for an hour or so, and I thought, well, let's rather just walk forward a little bit. Lucky we did, because we were rescued uh, by this charming man on a snowmobile. As we approached the end of our trip, I'd realized I hadn't really got the photographs I wanted. And I so badly wanted to. I know that the photographs in years to come will produce greater and greater joy as it triggers the memory. Because of the conditions, because it was snowing heavily, I was actually quite disappointed by the photographs. Not by the adventure. I loved the adventure. But I was disappointed at the quality of the photographs. I chose one photograph, which I would like to show you on this channel. And to give you the message this time that if your experience was very valuable, do your utmost to try and rescue the image or the images that you took. And this is the photograph that I'm not very proud of. I was about to throw it away before I decided, no, hang on, my visit was so valuable, I've got to rescue something. It is we arrived here in our snowshoes, we were dropped off, and it was very beautiful, but it was snowing, and so everything was a haze up. Before I do anything with this photograph, I want to see whether it's worth rescuing, and because that little red sign has a focus on it, I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm going to the develop module here first, just close the detail panel, and open the basic panel and here I'm going to make a few minor adjustments the exposure seems fine to me I'm going to add a bit of contrast not too much uh, the highlights I can't bring down because it will turn the snow to a grey mush I do think I should increase the shadows but not too much and the whites you can see are way off but I won't increase those too much and the blacks are very important in this picture so I'm going to pull those back to about plus 19. Then these are important tools and they're all very dangerous tools. The texture is a good tool and you can see how it's clarified the trees there. Clarity is very powerful and I'm not going to do too much of that because it will ruin the magic. So 
let's double click see where we were on note I'm going to bring it up to about 21 I'm going to leave the colors obviously now it's time to crop let's look at the overall composition this area here is messy and because I'm a minimalist and I love minimalism I'm going to take that out so crop tool here and I'm going to pull that right to the edge of that pathway around the side of the hut leaving as much as I can and then I've got to decide on this area because this balances this area so well it destroys the creative tension in my opinion I could take these annoying little posts out but I think that what I want to achieve is more or less a square format and don't be scared with landscapes to change them into square formats you don't have to be the same as everyone else now if I crop that I can now see more clearly I could go into Photoshop and go through high pass just to strengthen these trees but as it is I rather like them the way they are I might just fiddle around a bit more here dehaze is a very dangerous tool a very necessary one but you can see what happens it destroys the magic so for dehaze I'm only going to apply plus seven let's have a look at the noise the noise level seems acceptable it was on ISO 320 I don't want to smooth it out with noise reduction I like the grittiness of it I might want to play a bit with this so let's go to a grad graduated filter and pull it up and just pull it down so that it's slightly less detail there and you know what in Photoshop I'm going to take that ugly line away I don't think I'm going to put it through high pass I actually love the subtlety of this final opinion on composition that's incredibly important that distance there this distance is also equally important I don't think it can be cropped from the base up it will stifle the composition but for me the winner is the way this tree in more haze than the other trees seems to bind this element together and make it cohesive and then from this tree bounces this curve of the hut beautiful and then the horizon level just absolutely perfect so that is how I rescued a photo I was about to throw away that's me Charles Moser signing off I want to invite you to join me on this journey I want to ask you to subscribe if you will never give up your creativity always know that within you is a creativity that needs to be expressed if life is to be healthy.